Scientists in Argentina and Cuba have developed the first lung cancer vaccine. Clinical trials have shown that it prolongs the life of patients who have used it to complement traditional treatments. Cancer is the leading cause of death worldwide. It kills almost 8 million people every year, according to the World Health Organization. And lung cancer is the most frequent one. Traditional treatments include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiotherapy. But Argentine and Cuban scientists have developed a vaccine that triggers the immune system to attack cancerous cells. The new drug, Racotumumab, boosts the immune system. Unlike measles and flu vaccines, it does not prevent the illness but it trains the patient's body to detect and attack damaged cells to stop the tumor from growing. Argentine researcher Daniel Alonso says the vaccine was tested effectively on patients with advanced cases of non-small cell lung cancer, but only after they reduced the tumors with conventional treatments like chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Clinical trials show that 8% of the patients treated with chemotherapy and radiotherapy were alive after two years, whereas 24% of those who also had the vaccine had survived. The survival rate was three times bigger. The cancer vaccine is a brainchild of Cuban scientists, but it took 18 years and a joint venture with the Argentine government and private sector to develop the $100 million drug. About 60% of the funding came from INSUD, an Argentine group owned by Jewish doctors Hugo Sigman and Sylvia Gold. The treatment is quite simple compared to others. Several injections taken over a period of at least 14 months. More importantly, says Sigman, it's much less aggressive than chemotherapy and radiotherapy. What is important is that side effects are very, very low. The vaccine is available in Cuba and will be sold in Argentina in July. The product has a license for um, another 25 countries in the world, and we believe that in the next two years this product will be available also in these countries for, for patients who have this illness. Scientists in Argentina are hopeful that the research for this new drug will help produce similar vaccines against breast cancer. This is Monica Yanakia for JN1 in Buenos Aires.